All right, lads, uh, just to let you know before this episode starts that uh, this episode is a bit more uh, quote-unquote mature than my previous episodes and uh, contains a drug reference at one point. So uh, if you're offended by that kind of thing or if you're like a little kid or whatever, um, maybe just don't watch it, innit? Um, but yeah, other than that, it, uh, enjoy the video. One day... James was making an announcement to the other engines. As some of you may know, a certain day is coming up. You mean your centenary? Yes, Henry, my... Ugh, that. Oh, I know what one of those are. We had one last summer for that old guy to celebrate his 100th birthday. <laughs> Reverend Wilbert Audrey, the man who made this railway famous. Honestly, you have been here for nearly two years now and your lack of proper Northwestern Railway history is worrying. Sorry. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know that I want nothing for it. I'm still a young engine at heart, you know. I don't clank or groan as a puff along. I like some engines are could mention. <laughs> you're just worried that you're going to end up that kooky old Shane Dooney. Coldy! Coldy! Ah, what's up Shane? I saw it, Coldy! I saw it! So what? The mechanical beast! It was green, with black stubby legs, white glowing eyes! It growled like nothing I've heard before! Oh. Shane, you saw the farmer's new tractor. The farmer's new tractor? Yes. Is that what it's called? Uh, I guess so. How would you know its name? Unless... <gasps> um... You Coldy, you're in cahoots with the beast! Coldy, you've brought beasts down on our home! Ah! Ugh. I will not end up like Shane Dooney. I'm young at heart, down with the kids, up to date with all the hip and cool lingo, that kind of thing. <laughs> that made you sound mad old. Old? Old? Why I? Oh, this generation these days? Oh. What the hell was that all about? I think our James has come to the shocking realisation about his own mortality. I... I was going to say having a midlife crisis, my god! Oh. While an engine turning 100 is normally an achievement, James just saw it as a sign that he was getting old. Really old. He puffed away to fetch his coaches. Right, come along girls, let's get going. You know... It's a really outdated and offensive stereotype to think all coaches are women. Why, just because I get pulled along by other engines all day makes me a girl, huh? Get with the times, Grandpa. Grandpa? Why I... Ugh. And James storms out of the yards and towards the big station. Meanwhile, on the platform, a discussion was going on. Were Richard, it's me, your favourite dad. Oh, uh, hello, father. How are you doing? I am here to remind you that it is James the Centenary in a few days. I, ha, I remember this time. Very good, son. Good to see that you're learning. Now, have you made plans this time? As a matter of fact, yes. I'm surprised you didn't hear about it sooner. On James's big day, he's going to pull a special Coleman Express from here to Vickerstown and back again. I know the enthusiasts love the little steam train rides. Splendid! I'll be the... W whoa, father. Tickets sold out last week. Oh, it's fine. I used to be the fat controller, for goodness sake. But, Dad, anyways, mustache. My train's departing. Bye, son. Love you! I... Oh. As James puffed down the line, he began to think of all the ways that he could still feel young. I can't be getting old. I can't be getting old. I'll make sure that everyone knows that I, James the Red Engine, am still as young as ever, and I know how to do it. That afternoon, Mary and Kirby were collecting some flat traps from Tidmouth Container Terminal. Just then, James came steaming in, wearing a pair of... Wait, how did he get such big sunglasses? How do you do, fellow kids? Huh? I... Uh, what? I was wondering if you could give me some lessons. 
teach me all the new hit lingo. I'm a bit rusty, uh, dog, yo. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, James, what are you wearing? It's my driver, the list. What? The list driver. Oh, oh, of course. Um, here you go. Ah, it's my swag girl. You look splendid and dapper. There I say, fresh. You look like a complete neek, mate. Huh, driver, add that one to the list. Look, as much as I would love to watch your downward spiral, I've got a job to do, and so do you. I'll see you later, James. Don't call me James. Call me J-Dog. I am literally never calling you that. So, what are you going to do now, J-Dog? Probably post on my social medias. What's it called, uh, MySpace? Oh, that one kind of fell off. I... What do you mean, how? I don't know, to be honest. Things just come and go. What's cool today may not be cool tomorrow. Huh, that was oddly mature of me. Guess I'm getting older. 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 <laughs> huh? James? Hmm. All I said was I was getting old. <gasps> A butterfly? Oh my god, oh my god, butterfly, butterfly. I like butterfly. I can just become uncool one day. I can't lose my relevancy. I need to make sure that I'm always hip and amazing on top of the curb. But what trends can I partake in? The next morning, Ethan was in the yards. Suddenly, to his surprise, James came steaming over, oversized shades and all. Ethan noticed that James's driver was filming. Hey Ethan. Alright, you are just a Thomas ripoff. And you look nothing like your book illustration. Uh, right. <laughs> I got you. It was just a prank. A crazy prank. Look, look, look. The camera's over there. Uh, cool thing, James. Anyways, that is the video. See you next time. Oi, James. Huh? Dropped your gay card. Huh? <laughs> oh, that was priceless. Oh, you look down, so you're gay. <laughs> what the? Oh. <laughs> so what if I am gay? You right there, James? Oh, no, Toby. It's not James. It's uh, J-Spot. Or was it J-Swag? I've noticed that you've been acting a bit uh, off recently. It has nothing to do with your centenary. Shh, shh, shush. Don't mention that. Oh, I see what this is all about. James, look, there is nothing wrong with getting older. It happens to all of us. If anything, you should be pleased with yourself. Not many steam engines make it to their centenary, and those that do normally are stuck in museums. You have made it so far in life, James, and that's something to be proud of. Well, I guess you're right, Toby. Yes, well, I normally am. <laughs> I mean, I'm not worried about my centenary. I look forward to it, actually. I... What? Ah, oh, yeah, no, for the bragging rights. No, not that. Did you just say you haven't had your centenary yet? Uh, no. Mine isn't for another two years. You're... you're younger than me. Why, yes, James. Did you seriously never realize that? <laughs> oh, that James! So, uh, what are we doing here? I'm here to meet Ernie the Yardmaster. He has something to give me. Like what? I'm here. Got your kids, mate. <laughs> I... What's going on here? Oh, James told me he wanted to feel young again. I am young. Yeah, so I got him this. He used to take this stuff all the time when I was a lad. Never seen it so big on engines, though. No. Wait, no. What is that? I'm sorry. Where are you taking that? James's firebox. Yeah, you can't do that. Stop! And you've gone and done it anyway. So, uh, how was that, James? Hmm, it's not much. A short little. I can feel the power within me! 
James, you good? Super super. Wow. Wait, hang on. What? Is this place? I... What? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh what? I have no free will of my own! Oh no! What's happening? Oh no! Ah! Ah! What? What was that? Ah. James? Uh, oh, Toby. Are you alright, James? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Why are you all the way out here? I, um, I don't remember. Uh, look, come with me. I've got something to show you. Oh, um, come and Toby. Toby and James steamed into the big station. James looked up and gasped in surprise. The station had been decorated. A large banner reading, Happy Birthday, James was hung from the station canopy. Lots of people and engines were waiting. They cheered as James entered the big station. Sitting on the express platform were two shiny Pullman coaches. Now look, I know you said that you didn't want anything for your centenary, but uh... Ah, uh, are all these people here? For me? Are those coaches? For me? Um, yes, James. That's exactly what's going on here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you! Thank you everyone for coming! Well, oh, I don't know what to say. Oh wait, of course I do! You're all amazing and great! Coming here to photograph me and see my splendid red paint and watching me pull these fancy Bournemouth coaches. Oh! What happened to his middle life crisis? Maybe he's accepted his eventual fate. Uh, are you okay? James soon turned around and back down onto the head of the train. He beamed excitedly as people took his photograph. James didn't care that it was his centenary anymore. He loved being mobbed by crowds. Eventually, it was time for James to go. The guard blew their whistle and James stormed out of the station. James had a wonderful day. Lots of people were stood along the line side to watch James rocket fast. He blew his whistle loudly to let everyone know that it was his special day and he was pulling his own special train. He soon arrived at Vickerstown in fine style. There he rested in the yards before he had to take his return trip back. You having a good day, James? Why, yes I am. Thank you, driver. I uh, take it you're not worried about turning 100 now. I mean, not many engines do turn 100. It's a pretty big achievement for me, I suppose. And besides, maybe I should just loosen up if it's going to give me even more attention. Well, I'm glad that you've come to that conclusion, James.
Why could you have not come to that conclusion last night? I had to sleep in a line-side hut because you were tripping out on the main line. Uh... Today's event was a big success. These steam excursions do really well for the railway. Plus, it still gives the steam engine something to do. I always knew I needed to find something for them when everything's put in motion. I think I found that new purpose for them.